bilayer that is stretched and relaxed in the following simulations is formed from this lipid, DPPC, or dipalmatoyl It consists of a polar head group and two hydrophobic tails. Each molecule is about 2 nanometers long, or just 2 millionths of a millimeter. This phospholipid bilayer is surrounded by and interacts with water molecules, which are not shown in the following simulations for visual clarity purposes. Here's a bird's eye view of the bilayer. The computer models the bilayer as an infinitely repeating quilt of identical patches. The material inside the yellow square is a single bilayer patch, and the rest of the image has visualizations of the same bilayer copied over. In this simulation, the program is modeling what happens to a bilayer under surface tension, that is, when it is stretched out. Let's see what happens. Let's slow this down a bit. Here we see that the tension is creating a small hole in the bilayer. This hole is gradually getting bigger and has grown quite large, about 3.1 nanometers in diameter, all within just 5 nanoseconds. Let's take a look at this from a slightly different angle. It's interesting to note that the polar head groups, pictured as the dark blue clusters, of all the lipids on the edge of the hole are facing inwards. This is also evident when the simulation is viewed at this angle, with the red and white water molecules now being shown. You can see that the water begins filling in the area that the hole is being made. As noted before, the hole we created was made after just 5 nanoseconds. Let's see what happens when the surface tension is turned off. The hole immediately begins shrinking in both the x and y directions due to the line tension of the edge. It should be noted that the polar heads of the DPPC molecules close to the hole are still facing towards the hole during this extended period of molecular relaxation. Keep in mind that these images are products of dynamic interactions between both the phospholipid DPPC and surrounding water molecules. At this point, the hole has nearly closed up. A period of 100 nanoseconds has passed, so it took 20 times longer for this particularly sized hole to close up than for it to be made in the first place. Of course, that's still only 0.1 millionth of a second. And with that, thanks for watching.